Steelers. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. A battle for Pennsylvania here uh, between these two teams. Uh, the Eagles coming into this game with a nine. They've won nine straight home games against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, nine straight games against Pittsburgh Steelers in Philadelphia. They're undefeated, obviously, this season. It's a big deal for the Eagles. We talked about it earlier on in this show. They just went out and acquired Robert Quinn. This team is just getting better and better now coming out of the bye. Uh, what do we what do we expect in this game from this from the Eagles uh, here, AJ? Uh, I'm expecting a lot of fun uh, coming off a of bye. They want to get back to playing football. Um, I, I'm looking to see what connections been made and if this offense can continue to get more potent. We've seen it kind of go back and forth from an A.J. Brown to a Devontae Smith. Uh, Miles Sanders gets in the usage. I want to see if, if uh, Jalen Hurts can sustain them both for a game. Can can you get Devontae Smith the ball when you want? Can you get A.J. Brown the ball if you want? Can Miles Sanders find some holes and find a way to, to, get, uh, to move the ball when, almost seemingly at will? I don't mean to disrespect the Steelers. Um, you know, they just, their defense hasn't been what they are and before what they were, sorry. Um, uh, and before TJ Watt gets back, uh, the, the Eagles have a very solid opportunity here to take advantage of it. Uh, coming off the bye, being fresh, uh, having fresh legs for Jalen Hurts. Um, I want to see him sustain an offense because we know this defense is going to be a solid part of a deep run in the playoffs. We have the question of what Jalen Hurts and an offense can do in the playoffs. And it's time to continue. It's time to show that you can be consistent and be a potent offense, a la the one that won the Super Bowl five years ago when they needed to score at will. They did. Aaron, yeah, this, this game is. A, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, I was just going to say this game is. No, 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 go ahead. No, 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 no. I was just going to say this game is this game's tough, tougher than I think. Um, then I think this is – then it's going to be led on to believe. Like, talk about the 11-point spread there. Uh, yeah. I have them I have them covering that. But but there is something to be said about what Pittsburgh does against good teams or teams that we perceive as good. They win and they beat the Bengals week one. They they only th- they got blown out by Buffalo, I will give you that. But then they come and they beat Tampa and they played them close. And I, don't, I, I just never know with this team. Like it's so hard to tell which Steelers team is going to go up. Is, is it going to be the team that schemed up really well and, and coached really well and makes it close? Or is it going to be the team that just decides not to play that week? So um, I don't have a lot on this game. Philly should win. They're the better team. They should, they should really eat, beat them pretty handily, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Well, I mean, we talked about when they played the Bills of the, that Bills game. They were they were so much heavily, they were heavily favorited against the Steelers, uh, and then they ended up smoking them. Um, but the in this game, it's Bills. a little bit. That's what I'm saying. In this game, it's a little bit different. Uh, the Steelers, and this is a little fun fact here: the Steelers are one of three teams with a winning record against six and zero or better teams since 1970. So only three teams in the NFL in NFL history since well in the NFL since 1970 have a winning record against six and zero teams. The Steelers are one of them. Um, has nothing to do with this game, uh, yeah. and, and for that, <laughs> and, 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 and for that, I have the Eagles crushing the Steelers here, 35 14, 35 14, covering the spread, and go Eagles to seven and zero. Oh. Yeah, I got the uh, Eagles in this one as well. We're gonna go with them, twenty-eight to seventeen. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to get them in the thirties, but uh, man, Mike Tomlin, he just garnered so much respect for me. I think they'll find a way to stop them from hitting them thirties. Uh, twenty-eight seventeen is what I'm gonna stick with. I want to change my pick. Okay, do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the upset here. Um. I'm going to say Pittsburgh goes oh. on the road and, uh, and, and hands Philly their first <laughs> loss. What's so funny? 24-23. So for, you go from originally having the Steelers losing this game 31-20 to... I just said I'm going to change my pick. I know, but like that's such a drastic change. It is a drastic... That is a drastic... One score change. for each team. What? But... It's a big deal. What went in? Let, let's talk about it, though. Let's let's talk about it. What is going into it's, that? It's what Pittsburgh does. This is what Pittsburgh does. There's no. I'm not. I'm. Everything logically says take Philly. Take. I have what thirty-one to twenty or something like that. Like 
That, yeah. That's logically, that's what it should be. Vegas agrees, 11 point spread. But there's something about what Pittsburgh does in games that they're not supposed to win. And I, 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 I like that. I love Mike Tomlin. I know he's going to have his team prepared. And the thing I worry about most with Philly is getting away from the run game when they shouldn't. And then Minka Fitzpatrick making a couple of plays. And just like that week one, let Jalen Hurts throw an interception early in that game to Minka Fitzpatrick and that momentum change and that momentum shift. I, I just 24, 23 Pittsburgh. There's no rhyme. There's no reason I'm, I'm owning that. It's probably not a logical pick, but I just have a feeling that there's going to be an upset this week. And I think the Steelers uh, get the Eagles are not going undefeated. I promise you that. Yeah, they I'll tell you right now. Actually. They are not going undefeated. They are going to lose to a team and it's probably going to be a team that we didn't think they were going to lose to. And I like this matchup for Pittsburgh. I'd like it more if it was in Pittsburgh, but it's the same state, so it's close enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd like it more if it wasn't off a bye. I feel, I feel like that that's leaning favor uh, to the Eagles, I'd, but I'd I mean, like I, it. I ain't knocking like a man's feelings. Yeah. I'd like it more if it wasn't the Eagles against the Steelers and Kenny Pickett being the quarterback, <laughs> and then also the Steelers being the Steelers and the Eagles being the Eagles, and this also <laughs> being a game where the Eagles are playing the Steelers. Uh, all right. Well, upset. Hey, uh, upset. Watching Aaron. You're right. They can't go on. They won't go undefeated, and they have to lose eventually. And uh, I mean, sometimes you just have that feeling. Sometimes you just gotta ride with that feeling. Uh, so we'll see what happens on Sunday. <laughs> 